guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you 50 things that I do not buy anymore. I did this at the beginning of my simple living journey and it is quite evolved over the last three years. It's more specific, it's more intentional, and honestly, it's just, it's more empowering than it felt three years ago because I've seen the benefits of living a more intentional and simplified life. So I wanted to share this new and updated list with you guys because I really think it's valuable. I think you could get something from it. There are 50 options, but also I want to give you the confidence to let things go without fear attached to it. I've experienced it. I feel like I've gone through it for you. So I wanted to give you this list to help you guys out in this new year of simplifying. I hope you enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe because I come at you every single week with healthy living, intentional living, slow living, simple living content that's realistic and simplified for you. So let's go. Number one, nails. I don't do my nails. Lots of reasons. Nails tell you so much about your health. I don't like nail salons. I don't like the headache I get after them. And it's just kind of a waste of money. I'd rather spend it on quality milk, eggs for my local farmer. I know I'm weird. So crunchy. Two, I don't buy new makeup. I probably buy makeup once every 14 to 16 months. I just rarely use it. I don't use a lot of it. My favorite brands that I do invest in because they're so high quality and so delicious and creamy is Araza, like their mango cream pot. Mm, their foundation, so good. I'm wearing all of their stuff today. It just, it's natural and it's real. That's what I'm looking for in makeup. Not like stuff that I can use within six weeks. I just want lasting things. Three, toys for my kids. Used to be the mom that'd be like, if you are obedient, I'll get you something at the dollar store, the dollar section at Target. No, wasted so much energy and honestly so much money doing that. It was such a waste. Kids were over it in like 10 minutes and I was picking it up. Four journals. I'm a one journal a year gal. Simplifies my life and our budget. <laughs> Those things can get pricey. Five, apparently I don't buy glassware anymore. <laughs> I have lovely, beautiful, and very honest sisters. I have three of them. And the other day my sister walked in and she goes, your glassware collection is just so admirable. And I was like, what is that supposed to mean? And she just kind of giggled and she's like, oh, it's just, it's just cute. I was like, Ugh, whatever, just have some water, drink out of my glasses, whatever. It's just pasta sauce jars and mason jars and old honey jars because I can't get myself to buy beautiful glasses with my two children who are just destructive one and destructive two, okay? We're just gonna keep it simple for now. Smoothies, I don't buy $12 smoothies anymore. They were good when I bought them, <laughs> but I found out how to make them so much cheaper. Added bonus, I have my incredibly high quality Beauty Superfood by Perfect Supplements. It's the collagen that they have. It's literally the best collagen I've ever tried and I've tried literally everyone out there. If you're interested in getting high quality collagen and not buying expensive smoothies and having better, more nutritious smoothies at home. Check out Perfect Supplements link down below. They have a ton of superfoods you can add to your smoothies and it's just, it's better, cheaper, win-win. Number seven, new shoes. I'm one of six kids. I'm actually the fourth of six children. So I didn't get new shoes a lot, which is fine. I'm not sad. It honestly trained me to not really need shoes. I just, I wear them out. When they're pretty much dead, I will get a new pair. Eight, phone cases. Just don't need the extra clutter around. I, I literally need one. I spray with my Branch Basics, non-toxic cleaner, when I need it to be cleaned and then I just keep it on there. Can't believe those industries are so popular. Like we just need one. Actually, I can't believe why. They're just, they're really pretty. Number nine, excess home decor. Those doors will lure you and make you feel like you need something. Visual clutter is a thing and it can be a deep reason of your chronic stress or your cortisol or your inability to sleep in your bedroom. I read an article on that and it just blew my mind that a cluttered bedroom, even if it's tidy, but there's stuff on all the walls, stress, yep. So I don't buy excess decor. Just stuff that matters to me, stuff with good character. I'm still collecting, so it'll take a while. Expensive gifts for other people. Honestly, people just want thoughtfulness more than anything else. So that's what I focus on when I'm giving gifts. Processed foods or poor quality meat, just not stuff 
that I want in my house or in my body. Personal preference, not a knock on anyone else. I've had bad experiences in my health journey with all that stuff. Yeah, if I'm gonna invest in something, I want it to be high quality and that includes my food. Number 12 is serving dishes. And my friends, I hope this one doesn't stay on my list. I love hosting. I love having people over. I love giving people something beautiful when they walk into my home and just like, <sighs> and an experience where they can just exhale. Right now, we can do that without beautiful serving pl platters and stuff, but I would love to be able to host with just beautiful things. Maybe it's something that I'll never end up doing. I don't know, just a dream. But right now it's not in our budget, it can't fit in our kitchen. So I'm okay with not having it. I don't need the instant gratification. And I think that's important to share here. I want it, but I'm not buying it. Full price clothing for my children. They're adorable, but very messy and they grow fast. So I either do hand-me-downs, I have amazing friends who send me hand-me-downs and lots of siblings, <laughs> or we shop at the thrift store. Super easy, honestly. 14 is expensive beauty appointments. I don't do eyelashes, I don't even get my eyebrows waxed, I don't dye my hair for now. I just, I have tons of gray hair. <laughs> Thank you to the baseball life for that one. We, we move three times a year and I just, pretty much went gray, but I'm just rocking it. I'm like, whatever, it's not really in our budget and doesn't bother me, it's pretty natural. So 15, Christmas decor. I'm huge on not buying excess, just bringing like pine branches and fun nature stuff inside. Using that to decorate, we get a real Christmas tree. We have ornaments that people give us and we just use what we have. Dryer sheets, don't use dryer sheets. I don't like the toxins that come with them. We either use dryer balls, but most of the time my son's using them for baseballs. So I kind of just go without anything and my clothes are totally fine. 17, camera equipment. I've got the same camera that I had five years ago. It was used and it still works great. I don't even use ring lights. I'm just in front of a window. Comes to show that you don't need all the gadgets, the gadgets and gizmos in order to have a YouTube channel. Just do it. Coffee, not a coffee drinker. So it's pretty easy for me. Save a lot of money there. New clothing. I don't buy new clothing instantly. I do buy new clothes, but it's planned, it's been on my list for a while, and it's very intentional. I don't buy toxic cleaning products. Again, I'm trying to protect my hormones and the hormones of the men in my home. One man, two little boys that are really cute. Branch Basics is my go-to. Also, it lasts way longer than any conventional products that I was using in the past, which is really nice. 21, sleep medication. And I say this because my husband was someone who always bought like sleep melatonin chocolates and gummies and things like that. And it really like racked up a lot of money. I use things in case of emergency. So I always have Organic Olivia sleep juice on hand or Earthly's Goodnight Magnesium Lotion on hand. Those are my favorite products that I use only when I need them. I am a firm believer that Morning sunlight can fix a lot of sleep problems along with lowering stress levels and calming your central nervous system. Hence why I live a lot of my life trying to do those things because sleep is so important to me. But I don't need a lot of the gummies and trinkets and chocolates and things like that. PJs. Honestly, I just need a cotton large or extra large t-shirt. I'm good. Those things can get I see. Bottled water, I don't need bottled water anymore because I have Epic water filters, so no single-use plastic, and it's all filtered. Wait, wait. Cheap skincare. Used to do this in college when it's all I could afford, but then I realized that investing in something really high quality is actually more beneficial for your skin, your hormones, and it'll last a lot longer because it's super concentrated and it's worth the investment and the price. My favorites are Beauty Counter or Araza. Facial oils or their moisturizers, they have so many good things. They're worth looking at and finding their sales and getting high quality things. Like investments are worth it when you're dealing with hormones, your skin and absorbing chemicals. 25, technology. Nobody in my home thrives when they're on technology for a long period of time. So it's just not in the forefront of our minds. We have old phones, old TVs, old computers. If they break, we'll get new ones, but we're not constantly looking for updated versions and stuff like that. 26, fancy dish towels. Just not worth it for our family. 27, workout subscriptions or trainers. Thankfully, I was trained a lot growing up. I was a soccer player and you know, I've, I've gained a lot of knowledge. You can look up free stuff on YouTube 
Also, if I have extra time, I'd rather take a hard nap than do a hard workout. Just the stage of life I'm in. I love my children. I really do. I, I do. I really love them. But I'm tired. 28 full price books. There are so many ways around this. Phone a friend, half price books, used books, even on Amazon. They have used book options. Those have saved me a lot, especially with kid stuff. 29, anything that's not washable, I will not buy. <laughs> our couch cushions are washable. Everything on our bed is washable. Everything that my kids own is washable. 30, apps, not an app girl. I don't like how I feel on my phone, honestly. Lately, it's been making me nauseous. Just because I know my, my body, my brain, my gut knows that it's not serving me. Like every part of my body's like, nah. So yeah, I'm not an app girl. Do you guys wanna see my minimal phone? I can do that, I can share that with you. And what I actually have on my phone, be happy to do that. Feminine hygiene products. I use menstrual cups. Actually, I use one solo menstrual cup. I've used it for the last three years. It really works for me and it doesn't work for everybody. So don't feel bad if it doesn't, but try a different brand. I started with a brand that was not comfortable and I transitioned. And it literally, I haven't had to buy feminine hygiene products in years. And that saves you so much money. 32, sliced fruits and veggies. Can't do it. Cannot spend an extra $6 for something that's a little bit easier, even though it would be nice, but I just can't get myself to do it. 33, almond butter. I cannot tell you how much money, time, energy, money, I spent on almond butters in my lifetime. I've greatly reduced the amount of nuts and seeds that I've eaten in the past. I would eat like spoonfuls of almond butter. Apparently my gut didn't really like it. My hormones didn't really like it. So every now and then I buy a little jar and we indulge and it's delicious, but not as much as I used to. My goodness, like two 15, $16 jars a week. Not lying. I'm ashamed. <laughs> 34, plastic stuff. Like plastic Tupperware, plastic cups, plastic plates, plastic, anything. I'm just, I've read too many things. It actually hurts men uh, and women both, but there's a lot of studies out there that it lowers like testosterone and sperm counts. And I've read things and I'm like, it's just not worth it. If there's a higher quality thing that I can invest in that will last longer, that's what I'm getting. 35 scented things. I just use beeswax candles. They actually clean your air. Did you know that? Instead of adding toxic stuff to your air, get some beeswax in there. It's good stuff. 36 expensive furniture. Again, I just want things in my home to be livable. I don't want to worry about people scratching or candle wax getting on my tables or anything like that. I want it to be high quality. I don't want it to be like falling apart, but I also want it to be livable and not worry about children. <laughs> 37, 38, 39, speed route, jewelry, shaving cream, baby proofing things. Not necessary in my home. 40, excess things for babies in general. There are so many amazing videos, like really well done. If you have the budget for it, great. But these baby like nursery reveals, they make you feel like you are lacking and you're not doing the best for your child. My children have never had nurseries and that's not my choice. We were actually forced into that and so you know, it's not really fair for me to be like, you shouldn't have a nursery because I've never had one. But all that to say, it has never dulled our experience with our newborns or our children. They sleep in our room anyway. So just, you know, have the freedom to know you don't have to buy everything that everyone else is buying for their babies. But also feel no shame if you are someone who can do that. There's no shame. Just do what's best for you and your family. 41, drinks when you're out to dinner. Tate and I aren't huge drinkers. Um, every now and then I'll grab a margarita from my favorite drive through place. So good. Nacho Mama's St. Louis. If you're here, try it. Just saves you a lot of money, <laughs> to be honest. 42, out of season produce. It's so much more expensive. It's also not as tasty. It's also not as good for your body because it doesn't have the right, I'm totally gonna butcher this. I've read it, I promise you, and I believe this guy because I really liked him. It's just not gonna do what it needs to do in your body when it's not in season because it's being forced to grow and not natural, real processes. So I just don't waste my money. 43, bags, purses, backpacks. I have a very worn diaper bag that I will continue to use for future children. And I have a purse that was gifted to me by Visia, a company, and I wash those things. They're washable. 
so I just reuse them over and over and over again with the livable thing. Okay, I'm sorry, some of my footage cut out, so I'm just gonna do a little catch up. 44, 45, 46. 44, I'm not buying as much bread. I'm actually probably down 75% of my bread purchases. Sometimes I get a fancy loaf, but I've been making it from scratch and it's tastier. It's a really good homemaking, slow living practice, enjoying that. 45, we don't have any pets around here, so that saves us a bunch of money. We thought about it, and it was a hard pass. 46 is kitchen gadgets. My past life, you guys, I used to be excess in every area. And that, my friends, my simple kitchen is something that I just treasure, and it will always stay that way. I need one knife, and I can pretty much do everything in the kitchen with that one knife. Okay, back to the regular programming. 47 is excess pillows in the house, just decor pillows. I've purchased them in the past and they don't last. They're a lot of times not washable and I just, it's simpler and easier in this stage of life. Maybe when I don't have kids. No, I don't even see myself doing it when I don't have kids. I just would rather spend it on something else like some oysters or something like that. 48, expensive meals when I'm hosting. Again, with a trial and error, I've done it because I invest in high quality foods, but doing that for like 16 people or even four extra people just does not make sense because I'm already investing for our family of four and so I just have to trust that people care about the company and they they really don't care about fancy food as much as I thought. Any home cooked warm meal is just delicious in my mind. It doesn't matter what it is. 49, we don't buy desserts. Like we don't buy the cupcakes, the brownies, the ice cream. It saves a lot on our grocery bill. We used to do it and it's just all my kids asked for and so I thought maybe for birthdays or celebrations we would do that together and we'd make it from scratch and it'd be beautiful instead of always having it around. And then lastly, number 50 is microwavable food. Personal preference, also I don't like cooking plastics with food. Don't think that's a good blend. I actually know for a fact it's not a good blend. Just put it in a glass jar if you do buy that stuff. Also, don't listen to me if you don't feel like listening to me. Sorry, I, I don't mean to come across as a know-it-all. I'm just very intentional about healthy living because I've had a very sick child. I've also been very sick myself. Why am I saying this? I don't know. I'm just worried about how you guys think of me. Yeah, that's it. Those are my 50 things that I don't need and 50 things that my life is just the same without, if not better. So I hope you enjoyed this list. Thank you for dealing with the sun and for watching this long. Hope you guys are doing well. If there's anything more you'd like to add to the list, let me know below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Settling in, settling down, down, down. Falling in love, not falling out.